Hey, Ted. You think pigeons have dreams? What? I know all they seem to do is fly around and poop on stuff, but you ever think maybe they have higher aspirations in life? That is by far the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I think they dream about pooping on Lamborghinis. Oh, God, kill me now. <laughs> Sorry. I guess that's what you get for tempting fate like that. My name's TJ. I'm a hitman, and I suck at my job. Now, you might be wondering how I got this job in the first place if I'm so terrible at it. Or, more importantly, why these two fat Russian women are chasing us down in their Super GT. Well, in order to understand where my life is now, you have to understand where my life was one year ago. My life didn't used to involve killing people, which is quite ironic given how often I had to hold back the urge to do so so often in my life before. You see, I worked in the fast food industry. It was a glamorous life. I took orders, I made chicken, and I hated everybody. Working at Click and Bell was kind of like having an STD. They're both sticky, they both suck the life out of you, and they both think it really hard to get laid. I'm sorry, sir. Was there something wrong with your meal? I ordered a foul burger and you uh, gave me a chicken sandwich. Sir, that's what a foul burger is. Uh, last time I checked, Burger Man Beef Patty. What? Are you serious? You're at Cluck and Bell. We serve chicken here, sir. Chicken. Uh, yeah, I was really hoping for a burger. Our menu is all chicken. Do you want some chicken? Um... Um... Uh, no. Then get the fuck out of here! Hey, fuck you, buddy. At least I don't spend my work day dressed up like a giant cock. Every single day was filled with those customers that just make you wanna... But seeing as how I didn't have the balls to do that, I did the next best thing. I showed up drunk. God damn cock helmets and cock nut. I can't hear what is great. Oh, oh god. I don't remember any of it, but the police report was interesting to say the least. Yeah, oh, they're a bunch of chicken shits. Yeah, I'll give you chicken shit. <laughs> it said I took a dump in the kitchen sink after groping two employees. Needless to say, I was fired. After my discharge from Cluck and Bell and the subsequent jail time for the DOI and indecent exposure, it's not hard to imagine I had a difficult time finding another job. Broken homeless, I tried some pretty desperate things. During my attempt at dancing on the corner for money, Everybody's working for the weekend. Somebody walked by and dropped a card in my money box. I naturally assumed he was just a douchebag until I read the card. On one side, it had an address, and on the other was my name. I was skeptical, but I went to the address anyway. Hello? Uh, they gave me this card? Uh, I thought maybe it was some sort of homeless outreach program. And it was. Kind of. Oh, hey, I'm, uh, I'm here for the... Oh. Oh. Uh. Wake up, you hobo! Where the hell am I? Not important. What is important is I'm gonna offer you a chance to turn your life around. How? By working for us. You'll be paid handsomely for your services, and all we ask for in return is that you take care of certain things that need to be taken care of. Nice metaphor. Fuck you! Are you interested? Well, it depends on what these things are. If they're penises, count me out. I already tried that. No! Wait! Wait! You already tried that? What? No, of course not. Too sticky. And I'm not gay. I'm not talking about penises. I'm talking about being a contract killer, you moron! Oh, okay. It's really simple. We tell you to kill someone, you kill them. Sometimes you'll make it look like an accident. And other times, it's about sending a message. And when the job is confirmed complete, you'll be handsomely rewarded. I like the sound of that. We knew you would. Any questions? If you knew I'd go for it, why did you have to hit me with a baseball bat and drag me out to the boonies to do this? I don't know. It seemed cooler this way. 
Well, yeah, to you, but I'm the one with the blunt trauma to the face. Noted. You'll be contacted when you need it. Hmm. Let's go. Hey, yeah, it's not like I'm gonna need a ride or anything, yeah. Standing there alone in the middle of the night, I had no idea just how stupid this was about to get. Hello? Are you ready for your first assignment? Are you calling me from the car you just drove off in 10 seconds ago? No, I'm home already. Jeez, this guy. No, I mean, never mind. Yes, I'm ready. My first assignment was to take out a hot dog cart worker by the name of Chun Wang while he was at work, and I had to make it look like an accident. I'm not quite sure what kind of problem an organized crime syndicate would have with a hot dog cart vendor. Maybe he put too much ketchup on his hot dog once. I don't know. I wasn't really listening. I guess I probably should have been listening, because when I accepted the job, I somehow missed the part where the hot dog cart was in the middle of the busiest, most densely populated intersection in the city. As you can imagine, this was a slight hindrance to my plan. At this point, I decided to take cover and try to rethink my plan on how to make Mr. Wang's death look like an accident. As I took cover behind the bus and drew my gun, apparently hoping the coroner would rule the bullet wound a pre-existing condition, something incredible happened just down the street. Hello? Nah, dude, driving a bus and talking on a cell phone at the same time is totally safe. <laughs> Holy shit! After seeing Mr. Wang get completely obliterated, the first thing I did was run. I'm not quite sure why I ran, I didn't do anything wrong. And as I was driving home, I realized that if I just took credit for the accident by saying I planned it that way, it would look like I pulled off the greatest assassination ever. By the time I got home, my mindset had completely changed from unnecessary panic to smug confidence as I eagerly awaited my completely unearned paycheck. So as you can imagine, when a knock came to my door when the money was supposed to arrive, I was completely not expecting this. Uh... Who's this Jagoff? This is Vinny, the guy that's paying you. Hey, how you doing? But I'm not getting paid, am I? Oh, don't worry. The money's already in your account. But something was wrong with the job I did? Are you kidding me? It was so perfect. It blew my mind. I even got another job for you. Uh, so everything is good? Yeah. Okay, so do you people just use baseball bats as communication or what? Because I'm really getting mixed signals here. Oh, wow. You know, I don't think I have a good answer for you. Whatever. What's this new job? There's a couple of old Russian women who run a laundromat down on Regent who don't deem it necessary to pay the money they owe. So I don't deem it necessary for them to be alive anymore, if you catch my drift. Uh, yeah, I get it. So, you think you can handle that tough guy? I think I can handle a couple of old Russian women. What are they gonna do, beat me up? <laughs> they probably can't even hold a gun. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. We have to go, let's go! Whose bike is this? I don't know, go!
I ain't taking your word for it. Wow, this is safe. Watch the road. Holy shit. Hit the brakes. I don't know which one that is. You jerk. Wow, are we fucked.